Dick Gregory comes up here. Did, did I tell you bring your sleeping bag? <laughs> Dick Gregory is like Daddy Google. You put in a question or word and wham! And, and you know your head is just buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. Then you go to sleep and you wake up and you extract maybe one or two jewels out of all that. But your life changes. It's like telepathic, whatever is in all of that Google is something for you. So <laughs> thank you so much, Detroit. Thank you. For coming, <laughs> Dick Gregory has elevated us. These white ladies sit over there. That, well, y'all the ones that interview me. Where are they? I guess all white folks do look alike. Huh? <laughs> the reason I say it, you all are too. Some beautiful white women. All they show us on TV is glamorous white women. And every white woman that's ever been murdered, you hear them on the, on the TV say, gorgeous, beautiful. Have they ever killed an ugly white woman? <laughs> and white women, y'all know how they betray black folks on TV. You better go back and look at them movies and see how they betray you. Yeah, Dracula came to your house, not mine. <laughs> and you should have known the way he was talking. I, I love you. He's sitting there with a tuxedo on and no shoes. And then all the movies talking about the same. She in this big old mansion and the wind is blowing them drapes all the way back to the kitchen. <laughs> now, a sister would have got the hell out of there. <laughs> a dumbass white woman go, is anybody out there? <laughs> Dracula laying in the wood. Yes, my dear. <laughs> so she goes, she climbs over the balcony. They got no for the damn rope. And he's going to do -do 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 -do. So she just follows her, do -do -do -do. and she comes to come. Here he is. She said, Oh, I am so lonely. I love you so much. I'm saying, Look at his feet. That nigga ain't got no shoes on. There's snow on the ground. You don't know that's something strange. Full moon. <laughs> so old Dracula boy pulls her over and kiss her. And she thinks he's a gentleman because he didn't kiss her in the mouth. He kissed her right there where that vein was. <laughs> and now she a little Dracula. <laughs> so she said, can I see you again? I said, I won't be this way to the full moon. See, I, I can handle this. Say, no, no, by that time, you need to get your own route. <laughs> Somewhere. So I married my wife, because my mother said, no son of mine will ever get a woman pregnant and don't marry. Well, that sound cool to me, because she didn't say you had to stay with her. Now, she didn't know she was saying, that's what it sounded to me. So Lillian gets pregnant. And you folks getting ready to get married? Whew, take a tip from the brother, man. When you get them pregnant, it don't cost nothing for a wedding. Hmm? Y'all be going through all the bullshit, uh, trying to act like you're a virgin. You're trying to act like you don't know what you look like. So now you, to cover it up, you got to get you a, a $65,000 wedding dress. If you're black, you get a used one. <laughs> well, if you're black and slick, you just go out there and make like you're going to try it on. You good man, take that shit back.
And then from there, you get the bridal suite in Jamaica. Are you crazy? I didn't go through none of them expenses. You don't got nothing to be kissing in front of the family. That's the first kiss. You know you've kissed her before. <laughs> My first experience I had with, with Dayton, I met a girl's father. She didn't want to go to prom with me. I didn't want to go to prom with her. <laughs> the doctor's son she wanted to go to the prom with, he was with this other girl. The girl I wanted to go to prom with, she was with this other guy. So I said, look, let me, let me tell you what we ought to do. You ought to go with me, I ought to go with you so we can watch them niggas. <laughs> Is that clever? In high school, we'll watch them. <laughs> so I go by her house to pick it up. Back in there, they say, I'm 82 years old. I drive by no house, we walked and got her. She put that thing up and walk all the way because she fall, I ain't gonna grab her. So I go by and I meet your daddy. Yeah, nigga, this is my daughter. You think I was coming back here to take you to the park? I just want you to know, my daughter. Hmm. She better be back here by 10 o'clock, I said, why don't we let her stay and I take your ass? <laughs> and so he get to putting all these restrictions on me. And I said, wait, wait, ho, 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 ho. She didn't tell you what this was about. She didn't want to be with me. I didn't want to be with her. The girl I wanted to be with and the guy, we just going together so we can watch him. Huh? <laughs> now, since you said it, I don't even like her. <laughs> we ain't going to dinner when we get through, so I hope you fed this wench. <laughs> Cause when it's over, we'll be right back here. Matter of fact, you say by 10, I'll have her back here at nine o'clock. <laughs> that's how it worked. And then we walked to the school, to the prom. And I found out something. See, back in the 40s, you better not be born with little bit legs. Right? That was enough to, to get you put on the, uh, what's the list that you can part free? Handicap list. Oh. Yeah. And so what I did, Canada, there, but I learned something I didn't know. Oh, she got a fine booty. She like, the universal God is not in the business of making fine booties or fine legs. Huh? And y'all done forgot what's in, what's in the booty. It's doo-doos. So the bigger the booty, the more shit you got in. Huh? And you ought to see my old lady's booty. You know, take her to the garbage can, let her, you know what I'm saying? That's what's in it. You go down tonight and go down town and see a big old garbage can. Ain't nothing in it but garbage. <laughs> so I got, I brought her home. It's just like you women dating married men. It ain't nothing wrong with it if you got enough sense to eat before he picks you up, because he's going to eat dinner with his wife. So he ain't looking for something else around 11 o'clock at night. That's why y'all got all them stories. You ain't eating nothing but sandwiches. That nigga ain't going to buy another full meal. So when you know he eating, you eat. So y'all both be getting hungry at the same time. It don't take much to figure it out, right? <laughs> so, did you go to your high school prom? Did you, you ever been to a prom? 
Mm. <laughs> well, I just, did you think he was pretty when you was in high school? And you didn't, I'm probably still do, but I mean, you didn't feel funny that you was the only person who thought you was pretty? You don't think it might be in that yellow thing. See, we don't like to talk about that. Hmm? I'm just trying to wonder you look so gorgeous and you didn't go to the prom? Did you did go to school? Okay, so I just, I know proms happen in school. <laughs> I just, you know, you had girlfriends that went to the prom? Did you feel bad that night when you didn't? You ever been in a mental hospital? <laughs> well, regardless of whatever they tell you, just as happy. <laughs> my daddy ain't my daddy. <laughs> well, I was just asking you for a reason. That you wear them long dresses like a little girl I was with. She had lovely legs like Holly Bum. But baby, when she put that gown on and you couldn't see them legs, she had the most gorgeous face at the ball. You see how it works? At the ball. But I already made a commitment. That I was just going to go there as a spy. She was going to be going home. Hmm? So I carried her home. And old pop was upset. He didn't know I was coming back that early. He in there with a young girl. <laughs> he said, wait a minute, guys. No, go, go, get your ass in there, go in there. Then you find out what's wrong with him. She said, the whole, the whole thing. There's a universal God that made this body, not white folks. Huh? The universal God made this body. And let me tell you how you got that body the same way I got mine, he got his, you got yours. A penis went into a vagina. And out of that penis came an ejaculation of 500,000 sperms. A half a billion sperms. And the one that created you, 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 and you and me Outran a half a billion sperms and got there first. Damn it, you should know from that you are somebody. You the best of a half a billion sperms. Huh? If my judge carried y'all out to the best restaurant in town and it's a half a billion, he's gonna take us to the best, you know you in for a treat. So how you let somebody read? See, it wasn't no one sperm came out and slowly strolled up the fallopian too. <laughs> that one response for you hit the deck running and out ran a half a billion sperms. And so you need somebody to tell you, you are somebody? Hmm? That's who you are. But if you got a $10 million Rolls Royce out there, and I go out there and take that $30 spark plug out, it shuts down the whole car. Hmm? So everything the universal, universal God gave us, if you let a white racist system huh, keep on messing with you, your system shut down. Hmm? I can't speak for you, I can speak for my mama. Hmm. If my mama was alive tonight and she came here, and walked up here, you think she's so spiritual and beautiful and peaceful, you think God just spit her out. Hmm? But if you tried to explain to my mother Jesus Christ wasn't a Christian, she'd stomp your ass to death. <laughs> Why? Because her ignorance wouldn't permit her to know that Christianity never happened to 300 years after Jesus Christ was dead. My mama didn't know that Jesus' brother, James, they killed him the same way he killed you. She didn't know none of that. Huh? That's what raised me. The Ku Klux Klan didn't tell me Santa Claus was a white man. My mama told me that. I can't get away from that. I'm in the house with her. I go to work with her. She called 
white folks, yes sir, no sir, and they could, and then come back and call black folks, Maria, sister, huh? That's still in there. Y'all play all these games y'all want. You'll see what they're doing to you in Detroit. You couldn't do that to a German. You couldn't do that to a hillbilly white. They're free. You ain't never been free. Hmm? We're the only group of people in the history of the planet that opt for education huh, over liberation. Hmm? George Washington wasn't beating up the British for the right to open up a college for a right to be free. The song don't say give me education or give me death. It say give me liberty or give me death. So all you black folks sitting here think you free. You ain't free. Huh? You have never been liberated. And that's why the thing is so messed up. That's why can't nobody have no respect for you. Hmm? Y'all sitting around now yelling at the Mexicans. You're tricking our job. Nigga, I'm 82 years old. You didn't have a job before they got here. Hmm? Okay? And especially in this old dog ass town with them unions, you couldn't be an apprentice for a good job. And what no Mexicans here. We built this country. You don't even act like it. Huh? You don't even act like it. The Chinese built the railroads. Huh? Mexico, Mexico was built by Mexicans, for Mexicans. So they might not be able to read or write, but all them big machines they use when they're building them hundreds of times building, all of them know how to use it. You don't. Huh? You can't even get an automobile franchise. So that's who you compete. And you haven't figured out the thing. Huh? Everybody hollering and screaming at them. Let me tell you something. My man Craig, he's a judge, but we're going to make you a thug in the hood. And you know how to be one, because that's all you see in the daytime. Hmm? Me and him as partners. We own a liquor store. Hmm? Got that? We only selling liquor to children. And the only reason we ask for your driver's license or, or somebody to, to make sure you're a child. Hmm? <laughs> so the government and the police come down and bust us. Who you think they're going to put in jail? Huh? Come on, you're scared of me? Who are they going to put in jail? <laughs> the owner, right? Well, how come they ain't putting the owners in jail who's harm the illegals? You ever thought about that? Huh? I'm not, no, I don't want no conversation. You just figure it out. I'm saying if I'm violating the law and I've got you violating it, but you get arrested and I don't, then you understand how tricky this is. Then you understand why they're having so much trouble to kick them out of here. This is a game. This is a game. And I look at you all siding against her. They come over here and check like, nigga, you ain't had no job. <laughs> they didn't just start coming over here. They've been here. Hmm? Going through all kind of hell. Oh, I wish Jesus was sent, God was sending his son back again this week as a Mexican. Listen, y'all saying, were you there when they crucified the Lord? Nigga, you wasn't there then, and you wouldn't be there now. <laughs> so what they doing? They're doing something to Jesus. Let's get out of here. Hmm? Hmm? You hear me? You ever been to Mardi Oh, you, you live there. You, you had fun there. Mardi Gras. Hmm? The Mardi Gras is the biggest Christian festivity in the history of the planet. And those of y'all have, you ought to go. Hmm? You ought to go. The only time in New Orleans, and they got some mean, vicious, ungodly, dog ass cops. The only day a cop can't take off from work is the Mardi Gras when the Christians is there. Hmm? <laughs> and when we Christians get their whores come in from all over the world to help us celebrate. <laughs> And then the Big Tuesday is Fat Tuesday. Huh? 
Fat Tuesday. Hmm? And we eat everything moving. Then on Ash Wednesday, we say a prayer and go fake a fast for 40 days. And the problem with us Christians, Jesus Christ came in and died for our sins. Well, you ain't changed nothing. If Jesus Christ come back today, and bug the wrong people, they give him the electric chair. And we all be walking around with big chairs around our neck. <laughs> Where are you there? When they crucified, are y'all crazy? Why y'all singing and act like you sad but they crucified your Jesus and if he came back and bugged the wrong people, they kill him again. And that don't bother you? Walk around talking about the devil, the devil, I, I ain't never understood the devil. I ain't never seen a fat devil. You want to see fat folk? Go to the Baptist church, Sunday, and sit next to the choir. Hmm? And if they want to know how to lose weight, just say, follow the devil. Don't do what the devil do, just follow him. Hmm? You ain't never seen a fat hoe? Why are you Baptists complaining about you fat and a hoe ain't fat? Huh? All over the world, ain't no fat prostitutes. And you read about all this, I just read about this big church in Buffalo, New York, caved in, y'all see that, sir? from the snow. I'm trying to find out if a bank or a whole house in Buffalo ever caved in. <laughs> Come on, God. <laughs> you ever see them fighters get in the ring, make a sign across and get knocked out the first blow? Well, who was you praying to? Fear God. What kind of fool is you? I've got ten children, and if my children feared me, you know something wrong with me. Huh? God said, if you do this and do that, you will burn in hell. Wait a minute. You told me to forgive, but you ain't willing to do it. In a Christian society in America, the second most retail sales, second only to Christmas, is Halloween. And the biggest outfit is devil outfits in a Christian society. You can't go and buy a Jesus outfit for Halloween. <laughs> you cannot name your school. You went to high school, what was your logo? What was your logo? Bulldogs, I mine too, Bulldogs. Some the high school bulldogs. But you couldn't name a public school, some the high school, green Jesus, white Jesus, black Jesus. But you could name it after the devil. The Duke Blue Devils. The Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Now I've seen demons, I've seen de but I've never seen both of them together. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It's your problem. I've never heard the word clan before I heard the word Santa Claus and it's from my mama, a white boy. I didn't have enough sense to know ain't no white man coming in my ghetto after midnight. And as fat as he is, he ain't gonna get down no chimney. And if he get down there, he ain't gonna have no soot on. Y'all still buying that crap, huh? Still buying it. Somewhere. I was trying to find me a white man in here, about six foot or, or taller. Anyone here? <laughs> yeah, come on, come on down, come on, come on, come on down. Yeah, come on, don't be, don't be scared. I send you back. Come on. Have you white folks ever wondered how Dracula? Wolfman, all the evil folks is white, but we ain't scared of y'all. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna show you. How, how tall? Uh, six one. Okay, I'm gonna show you why. Why black folks are such good athletes, and it ain't got nothing to do with blackness. Now, tell them how tall you are. Six one. 
Six months. I'm five nine. And I stand next to me. Next to me. Okay, you see here? See where my legs come? And I'm five nine. You see where his is? Black folks' legs is longer than white folks. Ain't got nothing to do with me being a damn good football. Look at it. Here it is here. You see it? Huh? Thank you, brother. <laughs> Did you see it? Huh? And y'all run take all this crap. The reason I'm a good football, you a good football player, because the body. And that's why we look like thugs. If I go buy a suit off the rack, it was made for him. So I've got legs this long and short bodies, but my coach girl, that damn right, I look like a criminal. Hmm? Hmm? And y'all sit with all this crap bullshit been passed down from your mama and your daddy and all that craziness. Huh? Y'all in the ghetto made me. You listen to me when I wasn't funny. And when you got to listen to me, you'd push me all downtown where you couldn't afford to see me. So I got to come back. But I'm not living there. I was born and raised in St. Louis, Tornado Alley. They have tornadoes, tornadoes, tornadoes. The big old Catholic church got blew away. Huh? But never the whole house. Talk to me, God. What is it about them hoes? Dick Gregory, Patience, Part 3. Don't miss it.